Do not attempt to adjust your set. This is a streaming freedom video bulletin. It cannot be stopped, and it is the only free voice left on the net. Hello friends, and welcome back to the channel. For today's Skyrim Mod Showcase on the PlayStation 4, we'll be taking a look at a work-in-progress mod by an up-and-coming mod author. This is their first mod, and I thought it would be nice to showcase it on the channel and kind of get it out there for people to find and enjoy. So the name of this mod is Dragonborn Mountain Cave Sanctuary. It is by the mod author Ferret854, and this is version 7 of the mod. The description says, Added acoustic volume to the interior of the home. This is my first mod, a simple space for the player to hang their hat for a while and relax from adventuring. Please let me know what I got right in this. I feel like I could work transitions a little better in a couple of places. Okay, so this took me quite a while to find. You might want to add where this is located in the mod's description. So what you're looking for is this right here, Cave Sanctuary. You can find it by coming here to Falk Reef, and it's also located near Peak Shade Tower. Here's a couple of the other markers, but the easiest way to find it is by using the Falk Reef marker. It will already be discovered, and you can fast travel to it on your map. And as you see how many icons I had, that's why I had so much trouble finding it. I was looking for one that was not discovered. Alright, so I don't know if it is nav meshed in here uh, for the followers or not. We'll see in a minute if Lydia follows me in. But, uh, oh wow. For a minute I thought I was going to have to use my uh, candlelight spell, but no, it's lit in here perfectly. Okay, yeah, Lydia didn't follow me in, so it may not be nav meshed for him, or she just didn't follow me in for whatever reason, but... First impressions of this is it's very nice uh, looks wise and stuff. I wasn't really expecting this. I saw a little bit of the pictures in there and oh now this is a very nice touch too. Really nice having these mage lights here uh, to provide light. Okay so we have the blacksmith's forge here as well as a grindstone. So this is your work area. Also have a workbench, uh, a tanning rack, as well as some fertile soil but yeah very nice touch having the mage light like that in here it has it lit up in here perfectly i don't have to use my own spells okay we have some more uh, fertile soil and again that that is a very nice touch also a uh, apothecary and again several more areas that you can plant either food or flowers whatever it is that you decide that you want to plant there so you can find that all here but yeah the mod description you said that this is your very first mod i'm already uh liking very much what you've done here this is very nice i didn't expect this exactly uh you know in the cave i was expecting it not to really have that much in terms of like scenery and stuff to look at really like uh that over there that purple tree and stuff very nice and again just the uh touch of the mage light in here lighten it up to where we also see a light source to explain why you can see so well in here this is very beautiful actually this right here would make a very nice wallpaper i might go ahead and snap a quick shot of that but yeah uh I'm very impressed so far, and if this is your first mod, then I definitely look forward to seeing what else that you make in the future. Okay, so let's go ahead and head over here. Again, I'm really taken with uh, just the overall looks in here. It's a nice little getaway. Okay, so we have a smelter here, and uh, I guess that must be all the work area I missed that a minute ago with the rest of the work stuff but we'll come over here and that sounds like nern root yep okay so you have some nern root here that you can harvest that's nice again that just it really looks nice in here this is definitely a nice little getaway again we have more fertile soil that you can plant some flowers or food whatever it is that you decide to plant there on both sides of the house don't see anything up that way all right let's go on inside oh I was expecting a uh, load screen and it just lets you go right in 
Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Very impressed with this mod. So we have a uh, some different scrolls here, some soul gems that you can take. We also have looks like some spell tomes and arcane enchanter. A chest for storage. Uh, now the thing to remember, friends, is uh, with storage. I don't know if the storage in here is safe. Looks like we got one thing there, uh, but. Best thing to do with any mod is never store anything that's very important to you in a mod. Just put that in a completely vanilla home. That way if there is an error with the mod loader or something, you don't lose stuff that is important to you. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look up here. We have a bookshelf that you can use to store some of your books. Another chest, again, I don't know if the storage is safe or not. I'm assuming that it is, but just remember my warning. And we have some mannequins here to be able to store your... Um, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, okay, we have moving mannequins. Okay, that's creepy. I've never seen that in the game before. <laughs> okay, so we have two moving mannequins. I guess you could, like, store your armors on these and they'd be kind of like enchanted armor moving around. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> That's a oh, and it's the master bedroom, so yeah, pleasant dreams. <laughs> I don't know uh, if that was intentional or not, but in any case, we have a wardrobe here. Looks like just a fishing hat, a couple of things, jewelry, a safe that you can store some uh, documents in. Getting the bed there, as you saw, <laughs> in the same room as the nightmare-inducing mannequins. A display case for you to be able to put the weapon rack. Again, though, I guess that'd be kind of cool if you had some really unique armors and put that on them if they're moving like that. Either that or it looked like you had guards in here all the time. But either way, definitely interesting and something I've never seen in a mod before. I've never seen mannequins do that. Okay, it looks like this is the uh, only other room. We have an area with some food here, as you can see, and a cooking pot. Also, we have an oven here, and again, even though this is a small home, uh, it's very, very well placed. Again, the food here also, very nice looking, the way that you have it set up. Several drinks and sweet rolls, some uh, uh, things of cheese, I can't think of what that's fucking called, well of cheese. <laughs> but yeah, so, small little home, but still a very nice one. And with haunted mannequins, apparently. But yeah, I'm really, really impressed by this mod. And again, uh, might want to keep the mannequins in there. And again, considering the fact that this is your very first mod, I definitely look forward to seeing what else that you can come up with. Uh, very impressed by this. I'll just say this, this mod here is a lot more imaginative than I've seen a lot of mods by other ones that kind of just copy and paste stuff. So what you've done here, very nice in my opinion. Okay friends, so uh, again that is the mod if you are interested in it, you can find it in the work in progress section. Also one thing I should have thought to have said at the beginning of the video and I didn't think of till now is that if you are seeing this video fairly far into the future as different mods are added to the work in progress section it might make this mod harder to find that is because of something that I didn't know before that mods in the work in progress section at least in the end game mod page will not show up if you search the mod author's name or I'll just keep talking through this or the uh mods name but if it is removed out of the work in progress section then you can find it and you should be able to find it on bethesda net however i can't guarantee that as bethesda net crashes my system whenever i try to use it so i don't but that is one thing that i want to state but for the time being you should be able to find it in the work in progress section mods are not added there very often so anyways thanks for taking the time to watch the video everyone take care this has been a Streaming Freedom Video Bulletin. Peace out.